Hey everyone, welcome to Wikcode, where in this video we're going to learn what Webpack loaders are and how to use them. We'll also be using the CSS loader and style loader as a demonstration. So what are Webpack loaders? Well, a Webpack loader is simply a function that transforms source code. For example, there are Webpack loaders to transform TypeScript to JavaScript, SCSS to CSS, CSS to strings, etc. We do not need a loader for JavaScript, as Webpack knows JavaScript code out of the box. However, for other resources like TypeScript files and style sheets, we need to install a loader for them. Webpack loaders are available on NPM, such as TS Loader for TypeScript and CSS Loader for CSS. To demonstrate loaders in action, let's work with a CSS loader. A CSS loader transforms CSS into a string and loads it into a JavaScript file. Let's install the CSS loader called CSS Loader from NPM as a development dependency. Now let's configure Webpack to use the CSS loader package. To do this, inside a Webpack configuration file, we first need to add the module key. The module key tells Webpack how different module types should be handled. A module is essentially a discrete chunk of code. We can tell Webpack how it should handle different module types by using rules. The rules key accepts an array of rule objects and a rule object tells Webpack how to handle a certain module. Let's tell Webpack how to handle CSS files with the CSS loader. So this tells Webpack that for any file ending in .css, so this is some regex here, the dollar sign meaning end of the string, and we escape this period because if not, it would mean a wildcard character. But this tells Webpack that for any file ending in CSS or .CSS, run the CSS loader against it. Specifically, the test key is a test that must be passed for the loader to be ran. Here, the test says that the file must be a CSS file to be transformed by the CSS loader. The use key accepts loader or multiple loaders to be applied to the files that pass the test. Now, let's create a CSS file called mycss.css inside a styles folder. Now let's just add some CSS to it. Now, inside an index.js file, or inside our Webpack entry point, let's import this CSS file. Now let's build the bundle using the webpack command with supplying the webpack configuration, but I already have a script for this. Actually, let me remove this. Our config file is called webpack.config.js. Now when we run npm build, we'll use this webpack configuration. Now if we inspect the output file inside our output directory, which is called myoutpet and then main.bundle.js. We can see a lot of Webpack magic, some minimization because we are set to production. And if we scroll over, we can see our CSS in here. So it's converted our CSS into a string by using this CSS loader. But so this is cool and all, but not very useful at the moment. We need a way to get these styles to be displayed inside an HTML page. We can do this using another loader called the style loader. We can install it from npm as a development dependency. Simply called style loader. So what the style loader does is it takes output from the CSS loader and applies it to the DOM. Specifically, it takes the output from the CSS loader and places it inside a style tag. Let's tell Webpack to use the style loader on CSS files as well. And to do this, we can supply an array to the use key with the style loader and the CSS loader. And note that the order in the array supplied to use is very important. We want our CSS loader to be ran before our style loader because first our CSS is transformed into a string and placed inside the JavaScript bundle. This is done by the CSS loader and this output 
is then placed into a style tag by the style loader. And so loaders provided to use are executed from last to first. So here, the CSS loader will be ran first, followed by the style loader. So the CSS loader will be ran in the CSS files, and then the style loader will be ran on that output. Now let's create an HTML file called index.html inside Webpack's output directory to house our bundled file. However, I believe we need to run this one more time. And of course, because I have clean to true here, this will delete this index.html file. So let's just create it again. And of course, we could use the HTML Webpack plugin, but for this, let's just focus on loaders. But now let's serve up this file. We could also use Webpack, but this I'm just going to use Live Server. Live Server. And now we can see our styles have been applied. And let's inspect this web page. And if we look here, we can see our styles. And these are the ones placed inside our CSS folder. So our CSS loader first turned our CSS into a string, placed it in the JavaScript bundle file, and then our style loader created style tags out of it and applied it to the DOM. As we can see, the color of the H1 tags white and the body background color is this gray color. Next, let's talk about customizing loaders. So Webpack loaders are also configurable. To demonstrate, let's use our imported CSS like a module. We can do this by providing an object as opposed to the name of the loader to the use key. So here, we are enabling CSS modules for all files. As a demonstration, let's add a class to our CSS class. Now, inside our index.js file, let's access this class, apply it to an element, and then add that element to the DOM body. So here we create a div element, we apply, we import our styles from the CSS file, and because, oh, and because of the configuration setting modules to true, we can now use just a file called myCSS.css as a module, and we access the cheese class from it, add it to our div we created, and then append it to the document body. Now let's run this again. I'm also going to remove clean true for this one. And now let's serve this up. And now we can see our block of cheese has been added. So now because of our configuring the webpack loader, we can access this class like a module from our CSS file and our JavaScript file. So this is my video on webpack loaders. I want to thank you for liking and subscribing today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Besides that, hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.